Hello. Uh, I've been looking around to to buy a spinner for my for Mame because I want to play uh, Discs of Tron, but um, they're really expensive. All the ones that I looked at, and uh, so I decided to make my own. Uh, there are a few there are a few tutorials that tell you to to use a ball mouse, the really old ones. And, but I don't have one. But I had an extra, uh, an extra mouse, optical mouse, as wired, but but it still works. So I decided to make it out of it. So I was also looking for some tutorials on how to maybe some maybe how to do it, but I couldn't find any. That's why I'm making this one now. So what I came up with is I have this mouse over here. Um. I I, fl uh, I took it apart and from the bottom I installed this little it's a little piece of dowel eh, probably eh, it's almost uh, I say it's about an inch because that's the length that I needed it that needed it to be and later on I made this little contraption over here. This one is a bottle cap, uh, a coke, and I attached it to a piece of foam that I had uh, to put on top of the mouse, on the bottom of course. Uh, but it was too small, so that's why I, later on I attached this cardboard with some uh, duct tape. This uh, it has to be black duct tape uh, and the reason why it has to be duct tape it doesn't have to be the same brand and yes, the brand is duck the ECK tape for people that don't believe that there is that brand but there is such a brand so uh, it has to be black so the sensor this sensor over here in the bottom of the mouse can actually read it uh, as if it was uh, on a on a surface on, on the mouse pad, I tried white one, but it was uh, really started in a lot. And I do not use uh, like red or blue or yellow because it, the 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 sensor is gonna have a lot of problems reading. Really. So just use uh, black. You can try if you want, but I'm I'm warning you, it didn't work for me. So I just super glue the bottle cap. I'm sorry for the for the quality of the video. I, you can you can see right here that I super glued the cup to the foam. Uh, it's just a piece of foam that I found that I found. Uh, it's a kneading pad that I found uh, at the Dollar Tree. Actually, it was at the 99 cent store. Yeah, I live here in Texas, and we have both of those stores. So, and I made a hole in the bottom. So it go the 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 hole goes through the cardboard, through the foam. You don't have to do it this way. It can only be the foam, the little piece of foam, or it can be any material that you want. It can be plastic, anything that you have actually, anything. It can, it can be wood. Uh, but the way why I put the cup is so the the hole goes through the cardboard and the foam. And, and when the, and the this whole thing goes in the on top of this the mouse the bottle cap stops it and it makes a really a really nice spinner. As you can see, the the cardboard or whatever material you are using has to cover the sensor because that's we're just fooling the computer into and the the mouse into thinking it is in a surface. See, that's all you're doing. And if you don't want to be holding this together, because you're gonna also have to be moving around with the, with the other hand, I was just trying to emulate the the actual game, the the standing up game. What is it called? It's called um. Let me see. What's it called?
go discs of Tron upright. I'm sorry, there is. I have three versions: the upright environmental and the upright alternate. For the purpose, alternate. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna use the alternate to demonstrate. And uh, after after this, uh, I was looking for a way to to just hold that for a way that I can put the the whole thing in the on the table, so I wouldn't have to be holding it and. You know, maybe I mean, I had like this, it was still moving around all crazy. So I came up with this. This is just a piece of foam that I had uh, from some that got delivered to me. I don't remember. You can get, you can make it out of anything actually, whatever. Just something to hold everything. It doesn't, the only purpose of this is, is to hold the mouse when it's on the table. And let me see if you can focus. Yes, there it goes. It's about two inches deep for like six by six or so. And the only thing I did is I carved out the shape of the mouse. As you can see, don't mind about that, there's just some extra cardboard. But the way it goes, goes here. Goes. Just like that, and this goes on top of this. See, and there it goes. Don't move around; it's safe. And one important thing that you have to take in consideration is put this uh, whatever, whatever is going to hold all this contraption kind of thingy. Uh, opposite wide of the cable. If you put it here, as you can see, I had already put it here. But when I was when I was testing it, it felt absolutely weird. It, w it felt kind of like backwards from like the game, the original game. So I put it down, and, and and even if I turn the whole thing around, it just kept. It, it felt it felt wrong upside. It felt backwards upside down somehow. So put it in the opposite way the whole thing there and that is how it plays I know how it plays but I'm just showing you guys and, and this is just this is just regular mouse you can see colors and it's just straight there connected to the computer and there it goes smooth Look at that baby. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, well, that's all. Just make any comments on here, 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 anywhere, you know. YouTube changes all the time. But just make any comments, subscribe, or whatever. Have a good day.